And I can still be heard. I can still be heard. Right? I can still be heard. I hope not. Hey, welcome back to our stupid directs of Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy <laughs> content. <laughs> Thank you to everybody who supports on Patreon. Follow us on the Facebook Twitter account. Subscribe if you haven't hit that like button. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah. We're unhinged. Hey, today welcome back. Today we're doing another movie review, and we are doing another technically classic Malayalam film with the mammoths the mammoths himself the mammoths did you hear what Nassus Rajamuli said about the Malayalam actors that they're good yeah he, he just recently was quoted saying hey I know this is a he didn't say this but it's, no, I know this is a hot take but uh, he says it's very obvious that the the best actors are coming out of Malayalam cinema well yes obviously but it, they also probably have the best writing <laughs> So that they're helps. just doing, yeah, they're doing <laughs> and great directing and just they're 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 doing elevative artistry pretty consistently. Anyways, we're going uh, on our mammoots tangent here. Mammoot, uh, mammoot. We're 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 aware he has another name and I, it starts with an M, but we call them mammoots, Malmukar or something. The like mammoots. That. Yeah, I like the mammoots, but this is uh, another one of his uh, from 1994 called. Vidhayan. Where were you in 94? Three years old. Yeah. Uh, uh, Vidhayan. Uh, directed by... Adur Gopalkrishnan. Which uh, I believe that translates to the servile. At least that's what I saw mm. on the... Uh, yeah, servant, slave, yeah, basically. Right, slave. Uh, the, he, who is a... He's the writer as well of this. Right, from it's an adaptation, apparently. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, and starring Mamuts and M.R. Yeah, Gopa Kumar. And then uh, Tavi Azmi and Sabitha Anand. We've seen them in a few things. Uh, we've seen her apparently in Baji Rao and Yaijuani Haiduani. And uh, oh, I recognize her. She like, was in Baji Rao. Yeah. I knew I was f trying to figure out where I placed that we face. We just know her, I think, more older. Yeah. Then, uh, when, As is definitely, I think, the youngest we've seen her. Um, but anyways, uh, it came highly recommended uh, as one of um, another mammoth uh, since we've been doing The Wall and we did uh, Kathal Kor and Rorsch Rorschach or something like that. Um, and so obviously this one came highly recommended. Uh, and I heard this one was uh, more mammoths in a villainous role, kind of villain. Um, it, I'm not putting that in quotes that he's not a bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> he is definitely a bad guy. <laughs> I, I was putting quotes I mean, the villain. You might think he's a villain, but I don't necessarily. Bad guy. Villain, I think, like, Joker. <laughs> he's a bad guy. Anyways, but this will be a 100% spoiler review. Yeah. Uh, if you haven't seen it, see please it. Go watch it's it. on it's, YouTube. It's, yeah, it's on YouTube. It's about an hour 50. Um, so you can go watch that, come back. And Rick, your initial thoughts of it. Th this one, for me, didn't. Uh, uh, captivate me in the way, say, like The Wall did or some of the other ones. This one for me just was kind of there. Uh, I, I It was okay. I don't have anything particularly superlative to say about it, nor do I have anything particularly derogatory to say about it other than just it, it didn't engage me the way, whereas The Wall was very contemplative and circumspect and meditative at, at, at all times. This one just was kind of... Uh, flat and uninteresting for me throughout a lot of it. And that's just my my particular take on it. So for me, this is one of those where I, I'd pass. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. Hmm. That's me. Uh, no, I I liked it. it. It wasn't The Wall for me. Obviously, I think The Wall is a really great film. Um, this one, uh, I, I, I don't agree that there's nothing superb a little bit about it. I, I do think there are stuff that are very notorious for this. It definitely had a weird pacing. And... Um, certain ways that uh, they decided to edit to show time lapse mm -hmm. in it as well that I thought was like, I think you could have done that a little better to let the audience know this is not five minutes ago. This is probably quite a few um, weeks or, or sure. uh, some some time frame. Um, and, so, and obviously the, the pacing was a, um, a lot slower with stuff that um, um, yeah, it's, I think it's just a, one of those things that 
I think Jimmy coined it, not this, that this is fully this, uh, Malayalam chill. They just take their time. I think Malayali chill, what they coined is more of like Bangalore days, though, in terms of like it's more of a feel good <laughs> chill. Uh, this right. is more of just they took their they took their time. Um, and it's only an hour 50, so it's not like I'm it, it like dragged or anything, but they it definitely um, at times I thought they could have picked up the pace a little bit. But uh, it was definitely they just, they also like the same thing with the editing. They started off right out like just weirdly. Uh, I liked with, the start with like five minutes of score. Of oh well, that, the, we, once we get past the opening credits, I meant that yeah. very first no, yeah, scene, and they just get into the scene, yeah, immediately, yeah. Um, without any like. In the, so they kind of introduce the characters right away there. Um, but uh, I I enjoyed Mamut's uh, performance in this. Uh, I w I would have loved, and I think if it was done now, the director would have had him do like made him even more kind of menacing. Mm. Um, this is 1994. They clearly had a very low budget for anything. Yeah. So like anything like with um, that they, when they were being physical or fights, obviously you could tell like, all right, try your best to uh, look like you're beating this guy up, right? Because uh, um, it, one, we've said it many times, it takes money to make action look good. Yeah. Because uh, you can't actually punch people on, <laughs> nobody wants to be fully punched on set. No. Um, but I, I enjoyed his performance. Um, I would have liked them to go even further into him being menacing. But uh, I, I thought he did a good job. What did you think of Mamuts? I know you said uh, there wasn't anything. I, th I thought he was fine. What is the word I'm looking for? I don't know. Meritorious. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I thought he was fine. Uh, whereas other roles I've seen him in, I'm I'm utterly captivated mm -hmm. at all times. This yeah. one was was for me just fine. It, it wasn't anything particularly mesmerizing, captivating. Uh, it, it was just it was okay. Mm. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about him though? The other guy. Same. I actually thought he did a very good job. I liked him a lot. Um, I I I enjoyed his. It was. Obviously, easy to sympathize with. Well, yeah, uh, for character. sure, he is definitely the uh, protagonist uh, in this. Yeah, and he's clearly playing a character that um, is like his at the time uh, that this was that in whatever cast he was or wherever mm -hmm. he was in life. Right, there his only um, way that he could move up in the world or his only worth was basically through. His master. Right. That's the only reason he was probably, I guess he thought, alive in certain stances is because uh, of his, who his master was. Right. Even though it's obviously um, awful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just terrible. Um, and I think if you had redone it today, which is not, there's nothing they could do about it back then because it was what it was back then. I think if you did it today, you could make this a lot more unsettling. Yeah. Uh, in many respects, there's a lot more you could show yeah. in terms of what Absolutely. was brutal. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and I, this is one that I think probably could do with a, a good, you could um, bring back Mamuts mm -hmm. at least. Uh, the other guy is probably maybe a little too old now, but you could still have Mamuts as the, uh, as the awful uh, slave owner. Um, but yeah. you can up the production quality. You can up some of the the impact that it has because I bet they were, and I, I bet the um, even though I, obviously I'm sure when people saw it at the time they were probably, and and I know a bunch of people still are raving about this movie, um, especially if you saw it at the time mm -hmm. for Malayalam cinema and Indian cinema as a whole. Yeah, but obviously you could have more impact now uh, with just how film has progressed. Yes, um, and. What you because you really, even though you you kind of got the gist that he was an awful person, you really need to feel it more. Uh, yeah, with, with certain things. Yeah, just so you're like, oh, I just this guy really needs to die. Obviously, um, I think in certain aspects, Mamuts brought um, his his charm um, to. At certain points, you're like, bring some humanity to this person, but. Uh, obviously, for the most part, this guy had almost no humanity uh, yeah. <laughs> at all. Uh, it would have been wonderful to see the, um, the demons and the evilness even more 
Uh, and I think that has a lot to do with filmmaking and, and story, though. And but. I suspect that was the way in the original material because the running away sequence where he's consistently asking Tommy, do you think she knew it was me? Yeah. Is the place where we begin to see some semblance of guilt, which would evidence yeah. a level of moral humanity. Oh, yeah. humanity. But it just was, everything just kind of felt uh, not, the way I can best describe some things like this is like it looks and presents itself fine, like the the the, the proverbial chocolate bunny at, at Easter. It looks and presents itself fine. However, it, there's nothing really in, in inside of it that you're left with a sense of, wow, that was really wonderful. It just has... It looks fine, and then when it's all said and done, there really wasn't much. There, there's a you know a couple of moments of crying without tears. There's a couple of moments that feel strained emotionally, where we're trying to find something as actors rather than just experience it. And and so it that's why it was just kind of there. There's a whole lot more I would have liked to have seen done in a in a different way. Mm. Um, I think it had a a, a a decent message behind it. Um, but yeah, I, this is, I think the, the pacing definitely didn't help. Um, and also just, I, I wanted more with an evil character like this. Not like that Mahmoudi wasn't giving enough. I think he was giving exactly probably what the director wanted. Um, it's just in the writing and in the filmmaking process, like I was left with like, did, wait, did he just have sex with his... Slave's yeah, wife? it's like I think they I think wanted us. Did? You shouldn't, then that shouldn't happen. Your thoughts shouldn't it sh be. It should be absolutely. Did disgust. he? It should be. Holy crap! What did he just do? And it missed that so many times. Even, you know, kicking that guy to death. Basically, yeah. I'm thinking to myself, he's probably kicking him to death, but I don't believe he's kicking him to death. Yeah, well, it's yeah. one of the budgetary things that yeah. I said, like because they panned up to him and Mamuts was pretending he was kicking. Yeah, somebody. but you could budgetarily. You don't have to kick him to death. You could kick him once, knock him down, and then you could grab a stone and bludgeon him, and that would be a lot more yeah. graphic and unsettling, per yeah, se, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, as would doing something where you convey what's going on where he's raping Tommy's wife yeah. more uh, in, in, in a more— you were, you were more left with, like, a question of, like, did he just do that? Right. Um, and as maybe that's what they wanted. I don't know why you would want that because no. if you want to convey that this guy is, is a very evil man, I think you would want it to shock the audience and that you wouldn't, I think that's the payoff is that you don't want to like this guy at all. And toward the end, you need to have two things happen, which is find the humanity in Biscar in some way, and then also find some rationale for Tommy to stay with him besides just being a coward. Like I said, it's because at the time he was the only worth like this kind of uh, person in India or in this region at least had was to their master. And yeah, so that's why. Um, um, but then that was my thought at the end as well is he, he I know he's happy to not be under the, the foot of this man. Mm. But where does that leave him now? Where does he go now? I think he was just running to his wife. No, no, no. Yeah. I know that. I know. Where does he go in terms of where does his life, life go, go. Yeah. now? Because I didn't, I wasn't particularly happy with the fact that he was now free because to me, he was just going to go from one bad place to another bad place because of the fact that his station in life is what it is mm -hmm. and that he's always going to be in that position. Well, I mean, they, they clearly said they moved around before, so I, I'd imagine. But, you know, I... I don't mind the the open ending of, of that. Um, you, you, it's fine l leaving me wondering what's going to happen to him and his wife oh, sure. and, and that kind of stuff. Um, but I, like I said, I and you could even bring back most of these actors. Um, you probably have to bring back other younger actors, probably um, for others than Mamudi. But this is one that I think you could redo, and one I think it would do well. Um, <laughs> because it's Mahmoudi and it's a classic film of his. But then also, I think you could make it a better movie. Um, I agree. The same director. Um, and and just give him a better budget uh, and just let it hit more with the impact of yeah. this awful, awful person. Like, you don't have, obviously at the time, I, haven't, I haven't, wasn't intending, like, 
they needed to show him raping her. That's not what I'm saying. Because uh, no, n- nobody likes watching that. And it, no. this was 1994 in Indian cinema. Sure, I'm well aware they're not going to do that. They're not going to do that now. Um, but there's ways you could do it, and that we've seen it in, in Indian cinema that they leaves a disgusting impact on you, mm-hmm. and not just that, other things that he did um, that were just heinous and yeah. and, and evil um, that I would have liked the impact to hit harder yeah and as well as with the, this kind of story that it needs to as well as the story that is communicated with the visuals of the cinematography because so often in the cinematography for example in the wall there there are moments where a picture paints a thousand words there's an intentionality that you can see behind the cinematography and the framing and the lighting and what they're showing and why they're showing it that has a poetic justice behind it that that is conveying something in addition to what's scripted and I felt that a lot of cinematography here was simply to show you where they were. I didn't I didn't sense things within the cinematography that were complementing the storytelling in the same ways other films do that captivated me and made me think that the whole film itself was that much more m- meritorious. This mm-hmm. one just kind of, to me, captured where they were far, far more than what was going on. Does yeah. that make sense? Yeah. 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 Um- I think there was some nice cinematography moments, like, um, and but once again, I would have liked it to hit even more, though. But I like when they were. It's another scene that I think if they did it now, you could have shot it in a way that was like brutal to watch when they were. He he had killed his wife, and then the uh, Tommy came in and to hang her to pretend uh-huh. she killed herself, right. I, I think that could have been a gruesome scene of Tommy trying to get this girl, this lady that he had admiration for sure. and, and love for, sure. actually hanging her, uh, and like the struggle that that would have been emotionally, physically, yeah, yeah, uh, for him to well, do. I, and again, th- of course, and then her feet, I thought was a nice shot of, of between them. Yeah, of course, if they were to do it today, which is something you got to, you know, you can't, you can't wish it was something different in 94 based is, on what you could do with it in 2024 yeah, 30 but years ago i do think like the example i gave where he killed the guy kicking him and it, it didn't really have a punch versus if he had done something a little bit more definitively violent that they could have just shown i think that too as well could have been done with the budget they had and this the, the filming of the day there, there, there's just so much that i think could have been done to convey more of the shock more of the uh, detaste, distasteful behavior of Bascar, the sadness of what Tommy's having to go through that just they, for whatever reason, they didn't yeah. do it. Yeah. Uh, well, was this, I don't know where this was in Adore's filmography. He seems old, so it's probably not in the beginning of his career. He looks old. 25 directing credits. Let's see, 1994. So this was not. Oh, wait, short, 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 short. Uh, no, so he had he had been around. I don't know, like, if these were, like, well-known productions, but he had been around at least 10 years hmm. um, in the industry. Uh, how big those were, don't know. And, yes, I do know that it won the, you know, best picture for Malayalam cinema of the day. But... Nice. Yeah, that's um, a lot of people really enjoy this film. Um, I, I got, I get, rec- I got recommended it a ton, just like we did the wall. Um, uh, I think, I think after I, I watched it, I saw Jimmy's review. I think they both gave it a seven out of ten. I think we don't do the grading. <laughs> we just say whether you should see it or skip it, yeah, basically. Um, if you like it or don't like it. Um, yeah, I just, I don't even say see it or skip it because. People can decide for themselves. No, there's uh, some movies people should skip. Like I said, that you should warn them and help them not waste. I their will lives. tell them what I think about it, but I will. <laughs> uh, you can go see it yourself and and decide for yourself. Uh, some movies are so bad they don't need to be seen, and you don't need to give them more money to make more films like that. Yeah, other people so, have different opinions of them, so I just tell them my opinion. If you like it, you can like it. If you don't, tell me why. Um, no, you say if you like, especially if you're passionate about something, you say if you don't like it, you're an idiot. Yeah, well, it's I just those are the things <laughs> I don't understand. Yeah, when it's so good, and I really want to know the reason. And usually, it's just I was bored because they like action and it's a drama or something like that. That's usually the reason. Like with Call of the Core, if you don't like Call of the Core, it's because you want to watch 
uh, KGF or, or yeah. Or, what was the recent? There's a recent movie. I was talking with somebody about. Oh, oh yeah, I was talking with this guy I met at Twenty Four Hour Fitness, who's uh, an actor, and I had we had just struck up a conversation, and uh, he asked me if I had seen Wonka, and I said, yeah, I did, and he said I loved Wonka, and I thought, really? <laughs> People have different opinions. Wow. Man. People have I, I have a, a, a friend that didn't like uh, poor things. Film is, uh, it's an art, but it's subjective. I, yeah, that one I get. That one I get. That's not, I think I even said that early on when I saw it. It's it's not everybody's cup of tea for sure. For a lot of reasons. I, I don't, um, I don't agree that I, I, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, and especially I, I understand why people, if they, especially if they saw this growing up or when it came out the bigger impact it would have in on the in, like uh in 1994 yeah i get it um i i i i i just think it would do i th- like i said i i think there's pieces there it's like it's, going back and watching this is going to be a weird comparison but if you're a tom hanks fan and you grew up with tom hanks you're going to appreciate turner and hooch way more than somebody who doesn't know tom hanks and just watches turner and hooch <laughs> You'll, you'll, you're going to, you know, so people who grew up at this, obviously it's going to, it's going to, yeah. they're going to like it and but matter more to them. But there's also a ton of people that uh, like this movie a, a lot. So you guys let us know uh, if you like this movie, if you don't like this movie. Yeah. What, what, you what it is you it. like about it. Um, and if uh, you think it should be remade with Mamoots as the lead again, because uh, – you do it. Oh, easy. <laughs> yeah, this is not an age-specific character. This guy could be no. 25. He could be 75. I think the slave would be probably have to be somebody of, a little younger. At minimum, Nawaz's age. Yeah, a little, a little younger. Uh, or at least could play younger. Yeah. In his 30s, yeah. 40s, maybe. Yeah. Um, but uh, I know. Mamuts and Dulker. I think Dulker's too good looking. Makeup. I don't know, man. I think he. So if you're keeping him slender, him down, let, I, him, let him really transform his physique. I makes would, it all the more. I think it makes it all the more interesting if he's good looking. If he's, I just don't know if it would fit the character. Well, it may it may not fit the he's character. He's a good looking from, dude from the text. He's a good looking dude. Yeah, I'd say I'd say Fafa would be a better. Um, because we've seen him yeah. slender down, and yeah, I mean, I mean you can't if go you wrong. get an actor that looks like Nawaz, that can easily just look yeah, so fa- slender. Yeah, Fafa would be a good, a good um, so slender like that. that. Um, the few uh, ones that we didn't talk about, them, but I thought the females did a, a good job. Um, they, they had much a little screen time, and I thought the, like you said, the the rape scene could have really been a lot more impactful. Both um, there were two rape scenes. Yeah, yeah. The I, other one where he said, "Hey, you want to join me?" Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and that that could have been like. Even more disgusting and yeah, and just the way yeah. it was shot. Yeah. Um, anyways, uh, let us know. Uh, we thought about what should be our next. Well, I know what our next Mamoots film is going to be. Yeah, we well, do too. That's coming out in the next few days. Yep, uh, and there will be a watch along of that, so you can uh, look out for that uh, when it comes out. But uh, let us know outside of that. What should be our next Mamoots film? Which should be our next Malayalam film? And anything else we need to know down below. <laughs>